In this lecture, we'll look at a few examples. The first one is to let the equation v equals cosine 2 pi t model the electromotive force in volts v this is the v uh, at t seconds find the least positive value of t find this value t if v is 0.1 we now uh, trigonometric functions are used a lot in electronics okay this question is an application question is that you are given value v 0.1 you want to find t with your calculator okay so then let's do it v is 0.1 so you know you want point 0.1 be on the left and then cosine 2 pi t so you want to solve for t okay now by the knowledge we learned then we have a arc cosine point one is two pi times t okay so down here uh, we can then can isolate t if we want to isolate t then both sides divided by two pi huh then oh, this side also needs to divide it by 2 pi and then we have uh, this 2 pi upstairs and downstairs will be cancelled so t then will be stand alone so t is um, arc cosine Point 0.1 divided by parentheses 2 pi okay that's it but you know you want to find out approximate value uh, with your TI-83 calculator the first thing when you turn on your calculator you want to make sure point 0.1 here is in mode is in radian huh? the radian here is highlighted that's one thing so let's get out of here and then arc cosine on tr 83 calculator is the yellow function cosine inverse so you do second cosine point one close parenthesis and then divided by parenthesis two second pi close parenthesis. You then hit enter, you have the answer. Okay, how many seconds? Roughly is zero point two three seconds. You know here is four which is less than five so you drop it okay all right so we are done with the first example the second example is which of the equations below one two three has solution zero that means if you put zero 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 here yeah, some of them may not be correct, okay? But, you know, let's think about this one. If arc sine is zero, uh, arc sine zero is x, then by definition, you have a what? You have a zero equals sine x. 
If arctangent 1 is x, so you have 1 equals tangent x. If a cosine 0 is x, you then have a 0 is cosine x. Now, you know, cosine x is 0, x should be what? Should be pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2 something. So x is not 0. Cosine 0 is 1. Huh. Okay. So uh, you may put remark here. Huh. So cosine pi over 2 is 0. Cosine 0, uh, I may write note cosine 0 is 1 okay yeah tangent 0 uh, here you have a tangent x is 1 tangent x is 1 you have a what you have a x is pi over 4 okay and also you have a note here tangent 0 is 0 and tangent pi over 4 is 1 ah. okay remember here is what? Here is 1, okay? Not 0. So this will tell you this place is pi over 4. Okay? If you put 0 here, you get, you get 0, you won't get 1. Alright? So, uh, for this one, uh, we have a sine 0 is 0. Then, you may have the conclusion is that which of the equation then you will say that the first equation uh, so you may say uh, equation arc sine zero equals zero uh, I need some space. Uh, has solution has solution zero. Okay. So let me circle this part. Uh, equation. Arc sine zero equals x has a solution zero. All right. So that will be uh, the answer for question B. Now C. C is that we want to solve equation for x in this one, where x is in the domain from negative pi over 2 to 0 and then uh, from 0 to the pi over 2. Here the round brackets means 0, 0 is not included. Huh. Yeah. Here the square brackets means negative pi over 2 boundary points pi over 2, those two points are included. Okay. Basically, you put 0 at right, right here uh, is not defined because we know cosine x is the reciprocal of 1 over sine. Okay? Yeah. This is 4 1 over sine x. And you know sine 0 is 0, huh? Okay? 
So then right here, if zero cannot be denominator, that's why x is excluded from here. Okay. Now, we want to solve for x. Solve the equation for x means we want to isolate x. That's the thing we want to do. To isolate x, you know, uh, let's circle this one. Ah. We want to do is that both sides divided by 4. We want to isolate x. And then you have uh, 4, 4 cancel each other. So what you have will be y over 4 on the left, okay, e cross cosecant x. And then immediately what can you get? x e cross arc cosecant. y over 4. That's it. Or you may write x equals cosecant inverse y over 4. A uh, different book uh, has a different way to write it. Okay? Alright. Uh, let's keep moving. Uh, we want to look at another question right here is that we want to solve for x in, in equation y equals tangent x plus 3 where x is in this place huh. okay now again solve for x means to isolate x that's the meaning for solve to isolate x, here is x plus 3, so then from y equals tang x plus 3, when we'll get, get what, get arc, Change y is x plus 3. That's immediately. Okay. Now, both sides subtract 3. And what do we get? Then we get as these 3, 3 will cancel each other. Okay. Then we will have a uh, x stands alone on the right, and the left hand side is arc tang y minus three. This is on the right hand side. There you go, huh? Okay. And then that's it. Okay. Uh, please note, this parenthesis is up to here, not here. Uh, if you put the parenthesis right here, that's wrong. Okay. All right. Mm, let's look at the last one. It won't take long. Ah, uh, the last one. You see, for this one, we want to find value y. So we do is times 2 over 3 here times 2 over 3 here then you can cancel this one okay so what do we get we then get cosine inverse y over 6 is 2 pi over 3 okay and then look by definition y over 6 is cosine 2 pi over 3. Cosine 2 pi over 3 
is 120 degrees, this value is negative one half. Okay. Since this is negative one half, we then have a is y equals over six equals negative one half. Both sides multiplied by six. We then have a value y, which is negative three. Okay, I'll see you next time.